Hey, so today's poem, um, I had kind of forgotten about, and I kind of wrote it during, a, like, a rough night, um, I think it was, I hate it when it does that, it's so creepy, I'm sorry, um, I think it was the summer after my, uh, freshman year, or maybe it was after that, I don't remember, honestly, but here is that poem. It's the fact that friendship bracelets only break once you've forgotten what your wish was and it doesn't matter if it comes true or not. It's the way that falcons are majestic and wild and terrifying and we teach them to keep their eyes shut and their mouths closed until we want food. It's that feeling that when you walk outside, all the animals stop talking like you're in high school and there's some rumor about you. And maybe it's the hairspray and the nail polish, the fake shell we wrap around ourselves that is so repulsive. It's the way that the woods are always too dark and the city too bright. The way I own 40 pairs of shoes. It's the way that you can sob all you want. The footsteps won't even pause outside your bedroom door. It's the way I can fight my entire life, do all the right things and never look back. And still, I'll probably fail. And it's the way that you know from the day you were born that everyone dies alone one way or another. It's that time when you ask your brother what he's reading, and he says spark notes. It's the way that you're tired all day until you get into bed, and then you're wide awake. It's putting things off until you forget you were supposed to do them. It's the fact that no one can ever understand what you mean. It's knowing that there's a spider somewhere in the room, but not knowing where. It's figuring out the meaning of life and then hiding it under your mattress. It's the knowledge that your parents would rather you be like them than be yourself. It's being obsessed with something just so you'll have a reserve of things to talk about. It's finding out that you're allergic to the pets you've lived with your entire life. It's being unattainable when all you want is someone to tuck you into bed at night. It's watching colleges charge more money than your parents make. It's sitting down in the middle of the road and refusing to move until a car turns into it. It's worrying about sharks in a swimming pool. It's tanning because you kind of hope you'll die of cancer rather than be old and alone. It's watching a beautiful sunset by yourself. It's pretense and shadows and insomnia and depression. And it's everything they told you that you would love. Alright, have a good day.